Good afternoon and welcome to All About Animals. My guest today is Sandy Cooper, who is the executive director of a very, very humane organization in Lake County called Spay and Stay. Sandy, what is Spay and Stay all about? Um, Spay and Stay is a not-for-profit humane organization that we started back in about late 02 to try to get control over the overpopulation of feral and stray cats in all of Lake County. Um, we've got a mission. Our mission has kind of expanded, and our mission now is to end feline homelessness. And, you know, when we started, and we started doing track, neuter, return, we tried to hit the the problem at the base. Let me stop you for a minute. What yeah. do you mean by track, neuter, return? Good question. Do you know what it means? I do, but I'd like okay. you to explain it. Okay. Good job. <laughs> track, neuter, return means uh, exactly what it says. We loan people who are caring for outside feral and stray cats. We will loan them the traps. There's one right here. They're, they're humane box traps. Um, and we teach them how to use it. They trap the cat so that they bring it to the clinic that we run once a month, which is the neuter part. So we're on the trap, we're on the neuter. And then we return the cats exactly where they came from, unless they're in a location that's dangerous. Uh, somebody's poisoning them, somebody has trouble with them and wants to shoot them. We've heard everything. But I'd say 99% of the time, the cats go back to exactly where they came from. So that's the trap, the neuter, return. And we want to do that because we found out that, that most of the programs that deal with cat overpopulation on the streets use a technique that they've been using for years, which is trap and kill mm -hmm. or trap and remove but ultimately the remove means it goes to a shelter where it's euthanized or it goes to an animal control place where it's euthanized because these are cats do you know what a feral cat is i do tell me what you think it is a feral cat is a cat that's not had contact with humans and in its mentality is in effect a wild animal exactly that's very good does it look different than than my pet cat? No, no way. Okay, no way. okay. Am I and that's, right? That's absolutely right. Uh huh. Um, that these are cats that are, you know, two, three, four generations away from being a pet cat at some point, and in the process of being on the street and taking care of themselves, they become terrified of people. People become, in their mind, their predator, or a predator, and so these cats are are brilliant cats. They're they're but they're out there to take care of themselves. And so most of the cats that we sterilize have to go back to where they came from. Um, one of the things we really like about Trap, Neuter, Return is that we've found that 20, about 25% of the cats that we've sterilized and put back in their original colonies have subsequently gotten adopted into homes. You, you cut off the hormone supply and the big tomcat that's roaming and fighting and hissing and spitting and yowling all of a sudden is a couch potato, bored to death, doesn't know what to do. And, and the caretakers, now the, let me explain what a caretaker is. These are the folks, the, the people throughout Lake County who through their own efforts, they just start to see these cats and start to take care of them. They feed them, they'll often build them some kind of shelter. Um, and these are the folks that we're engaging in trying to educate that we're here to help them get these animals sterilized because we get call after call from from caretakers who say please I just heard about you um, and I've had already you know four litters of kittens and I've used up all my relatives and all the people I work with and all my friends and I've got nowhere to take them and I just heard about spay and stay so we are here to sterilize those animals to stop the breeding on the street and what that's going to do is stop the flow of cats that are going into shelters stop the need to euthanize to do population control um, and make these cats that are out there give them a better quality of life they're actually much healthier and I don't know if you can take a look back here but this is a little bit I mean here's here's a, a classic colony um, where there's this gentleman and this is in Barrington where he was feeding 19 cats and he finally heard about us and contacted us and we did all cats at one spay day 
and we've talked to him just recently and no more kittens and some of them have gotten adopted and he's there every morning still taking care of them giving them shelter giving them food um, and like I said we loan out the traps here's a group of cats that have already gone through surgery at one of our spay days and they go back into their carriers because later in the afternoon on the day of the surgery the caretaker is going to come back pick up these cats recover them boys for 24 hours girls for 48 hours and then let them go exactly where they came from um, and we've got amazing veterinarians in our Lake County community um, this is Dr. Brown from Green Tree and Dr. McKenna over there from uh, Animal Hospital of Westlake Forest these vets agree there's about a dozen that we rotate in and out of the clinic and we have about three vets to do about 50 or 60 cats on a Sunday and they they work with us and two of these vets actually lend us their clinics care in Libertyville we just got them on board and then um, Dr. Swanson at uh, Waukegan uh, Pet Clinic and we need more vets like that more vets who can who can share their facilities with us um, so we can operate more often during the week and not just once a month on a Sunday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it's it's kind of a, um, uh, a it's it's potluck or crapshoot or whatever you give out traps we give out 90 and our average trap rate is about 55 percent so we got one time during the month to trap them I'd like several times during the month to sure. trap to up our sure. success rate um, we're going to tell them about tipping the years so yeah what we do at. every cat that comes in gets spayed or neutered gets a microchip so that should the cats get picked up we know exactly what colony they came from because they scan the chip and every cat gets an ear tip I hope you can see that but we cut off we flatten out the tip of their left ear and that's like a universal symbol so police animal control um, uh, veterinarians when they happen to pick up an ear tipped cat they know that this is a cat from a colony that stay and stay has done in Lake County uh, they're being managed they've somehow gotten away from where their their um, home territory is and we've gotten many cats back to where where they were originally um, by the ear tip. And you also know, I would assume, once you see a cat with an ear tip, that especially with a female whose hair has grown back, that yes, she has been spayed. Exactly, because the boys you can sometimes tell, but right. the girls you don't know. And when. Good afternoon and 